the algebra of matrices, the inverse of a 2x2 and 3x3 matrix using the formula. What are they? Matrices are an array of numbers. Y helps render computer graphics. Interesting fact, polar bears keep warm thanks to nearly 10 centimeters or 4 inches of blubber under the skin. Now let's look at the formulas. Here we have a 2x2 two two square matrix with letters as their elements. And the inverse of this type of matrix is 1 over the terminant of A times a 2x2 two two matrix where we have in the first row D and negative B and in the second row we have negative C and A. Now let's move on to a 3x3 three three square matrix with letters as our elements. And the inverse of this type of matrix is 1 over the terminal B times all of that. Do I recommend remembering this? Well, that is up to you. But I would use the break it down approach. But there is a pattern here. Pause the video here to see if you can figure it out. And I will show you in 3, 2, and 1. The pattern is that each element we found is the determinant of the row and column that we crossed out. Now let's take a look at the examples we're going to be discussing in today's video. Let's take a closer look at example 1. Now let's read the steps. Step 1, label the numbers. Step 2, use the formula. Step 3, follow order of operations. Now let's read the question. Find the inverse, if it exists, of our 2x2 two two matrix where we have in the first row 4 and negative 3. And in the second row, we have 5 and 2. Now, let's label our numbers. A is equal to 4, B is equal to negative 3, C is equal to 5, and D is equal to 2. Now, let's substitute these numbers into the fraction part of our formula. Remember, the denominator is the determinant of A. Now we have 1 over 4 times 2 minus negative 3 times 5. Now, let's substitute these numbers into the corresponding letters in the matrix part of the formula. Now we have our new matrix. In row 1, we have 2 and the negative of negative 3. And in row 2, we have negative 5 and 4. Now, let's simplify the denominator of our fraction by multiplying. And our result is 8 plus 15, because 4 times 2 is 8, and minus negative 3 times 5 is positive 15. Now, let's bring down our new matrix. The only number that is changed is the negative of negative 3, is now 3 because the negative of a negative number is positive. Let's continue to simplify the denominator of our fraction by adding, and our result is 23, because 8 plus 15 is 23. Now, let's multiply our fraction 1 over 23 to each element inside the matrix. Now we have our inverse matrix, and in row 1 we have 2 over 23, and 3 over 23, and in row 2 we have negative 5 over 23, and 4 over 23. And that is the answer for example 1. Now, let's move on to example 2. Let's read the question. Find the inverse, if it exists, of our 3x3 three three matrix, where we have in row 1, 1, 0, and 6. And in row 2, we have 3, negative 1, and 4. And in row 3, we have 0, 7, and negative 2. Now, let's find the determinant of B. Which row do we use to break it down? Row 1, row 2, or row 3? What do you think? It is row 1. Now, let's multiply the numbers inside the brackets. Now, let's subtract the numbers inside the brackets. Now, let's multiply the numbers. Now, let's add and subtract. And our determinant for B is equal to 100. Now that we have found our determinant, let's go ahead and label our numbers. A is equal to 1, B is equal to 0, C is equal to 6, D is equal to 3, E is equal to negative 1, F is equal to 4, G is equal to 0, H is equal to 7, and I is equal to negative 2. Now, let's substitute the determinant into the formula, along with the numbers to the corresponding letters. What do you think is easier to remember, the formula or the pattern? Now, let's simplify by multiplying inside the brackets. Now, let's simplify by subtracting inside the brackets, along with multiplying any negatives that are outside the brackets. Now, let's multiply 1 over 100 to each element inside the matrix. And remember to simplify along the way. We have our inverse matrix. In row 1, we have negative 13 over 50, 21 over 50, and 3 over 50. In row 2, we have 3 over 50, negative 1 over 50, and negative 7 over 50. And in row 3, we have 21 over 100, negative 7 over 100, and negative 1 over 100. And that is our answer for example 2. Now it is your turn. So go ahead and pause the video here so you can take your time to answer this question. And I will show you the result in 3, 2, and 1. Did you get it correct? Fantastic. If not, there's always tomorrow.